are currently in a place where you normally wouldn't expect to see a woman. Yes, MJ! Oh my god, I'm struggling. Struggling to reconcile my gender identity as a woman and my obligation to serve the nation. And demonstrating physical prowess to show that women are capable of physical activity. No! Hi, my name is Deborah Tan and I play Knock It Dawn, who is the main character in Our Girls to Army. Knock It is everything you expect in the main character. She is what the country will consider as alien, and she starts off the movie by being extremely sheltered, and basically caricatures women in a bad light by making them look like fools. Hi, my name is Sarah Lim and I play makeup in Our Girls to Army. May is the poorly written support character who is there to just simply support the main character's growth. Along with all the other characters who are just there for token representation, May is here to demonstrate that every girl can serve NS. We really wanted to make something revolutionary la, with uh, Argus to Army. But the only way that we could so-called convey that the actor is all women is through showing that they had done their manicure before BMT. La. Actually, I think it's quite clever, la, quite groundbreaking way of uh, representing femininity on the screen. La. Oh my god, I'm a woman, so the best way to stereotype me is by showing my tendency to gossip, which I'm doing right now. Yeah, oh my god, let me engage in this negative stereotype that at least 95% of the people watching this will be able to identify as a negative stereotype of women. Oh my god, oh my god, but perhaps later for us there will be some recourse, but for right now it's to just show our incompetency at communication. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah Lee and I play the sergeant in Argos to Army. So I play Sergeant Yin, who's tough, She's a hard ass and she's really just there to show that she's just as tough and as capable as any man in a leadership position. In fact, she's assessed by her display of masculinity and as opposed to showing that leaders can be empathetic to the specific needs of women when they go to the army, she does not do any of that. Actually, I'll tell you a secret. The script was written by an AI one, new one, not bad. Lah. We take the main character and then we put her through a bunch of problems. Lah. Like her section mate distrust her, like that. but then at the end must have the twist, ah. the redemption story, lah. the um, so called uh, Bildang's Roman. Lah. But of course, the fat joke always I must write one because the Tiang Nao they don't know that Pui Pui is funny. Lah. Mei is an extremely one dimensional character. Her defining traits are that she has blue hair, um, she hasn't looked like the other recruits, and her personality isn't really developed. <laughs> I'm crying. Because this is an extremely pivotal point of the movie and the choices I've made have led to my section mates disliking me. The worst part is that it's over something extremely trivial which usually wouldn't happen in the male camp. <laughs> I think this film is a huge step for feminism. Whether it's a step forward or backward, I don't know. I think the turning point for Nocket is when she makes a crucial mistake halfway throughout the movie. She's really only given a chance to redeem herself and stake her claim as the main character during a high-stakes training exercise where the commanders finally gaslight her into believing the severity of BMT. This is an obligatory joke about the male perception of women's obsession with fashion. I have to emphasize your over-reliance on makeup so the audience knows you're feminine while still pointing out that it's a crutch for you. I think the movie Bui Pai la. We got draw the parallel between makeup and camo cream for comedic effect. And we got one trained character on screen more than 5 seconds. I ask you, whole of Singapore, where you got see before? We are the, the so-called men on the moon. La. We are the first one to do. La. And most importantly of all, we demonstrate that women it's nothing but gossip, uh, shopping, uh, makeup. Uh. Only through going to rigorous training like BMT training, then they can become capable members of uh, Singapore society. Uh. Do you think that the Our Boys to Men franchise is the pinnacle of cinema? Do you think that foreign films from the West are cringe and nerdy? Do you believe that the holy grail of YouTube content that God himself bestowed on us takes the form of 30-year-old girls in IJ uniforms and Tian Hao Tan's videos? If the answer is yes to all of the above questions, boy are you in for a treat. In order to consuming these hello gems the media industry has blessed us with, we are begging you to vote for us at the Pinwheels, the Singaporean version of the Emmys, where the Mockingbird stands a chance to win $10,000 in order to keep creating content that we can only hope to hold a candle to the standards that Wa Banana has set for this country. 
click in the link in the description to vote.